In this video, friends, we're going to be talking all about Red Wings all-natural leather conditioner. Now, though it comes in a tin, it's much more pliable than your typical shoe polish. Now, this stuff has been a staple in many a gentleman's shoe care routine for years. And in this video, I'm keen to find out if it's something that might make its way into your shoe care routine as well. This stuff is created specifically for Red Wings chrome, their portage, their copper rough and tough, and their legacy, but not for suede or their fine leathers. Now a savvy gentleman, he'll take that information and determine if maybe this stuff can cross over to their Thursdays, their chrome tan thorough goods, maybe their thousand mile boot. You know, this stuff isn't just brand specific like a lot of guys tend to think, but maybe you don't have to have 50 different shoe polishes in your box. You can grab something like this and see if it'll work across the board on different types of leathers. Later on in this video, I'll be using it on what I call my mall boots. Now I haven't ran this on my Iron Rangers because even though it's actually recommended for part of the Heritage care line, it will darken the leather a bit. It's partly because I'm running experiments, partly because I don't wanna see them get any shade darker than they are. And so I've decided to opt from keeping it off of those boots, but these are gonna be a good option for them. Next up, I wanna take a peek into the ingredients list. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Red Wing has a disclosure statement, and so they let you know what's in this. But this is one of those products that's kinda of rare in that it has it right on the label. So this has the pine pitch, mink oil, and beeswax. Now the pine pitch is dried from a tree. When it has a wound, it starts bleeding out. And this is stuff, if you spent any time around the forest, you've probably seen before. Uh, the mink oil, of course, this is actually made from minks. And Red Wing has a good policy about where they get their minks from and their suppliers. And then it ends up having that beeswax. Now this is something we keep finding in care products. And this is actually what Red Wing credits the weather protection. And it kind of makes sense because that wax is gonna build up on that outer layer and create a barrier, kind of a guard from that water, from the mud, from the salts. And the mink oil is actually gonna be the one that's gonna penetrate a bit deeper and nourish the leather deeper in. And that pine pitch is actually known to have some antimicrobial properties, and that's actually gonna keep it from getting funky and getting all kinds of bacteria in there. Now, though this doesn't have any preservatives, I would still rate it at maybe a two to five year product. Let me know if you guys know anything more about the shelf life or how long you think you'd run it for. This is one of those situations where we can actually learn a lot more about a product by what's not in it. Now Red Wing boasts that this does not have any silicones and that is music to our ears. If you run the Heritage line, you know it's something that is gonna clog the pores of the leather and not allow the leather to be uh, conditioned deeply and so we're happy to not see that in there. But enough said, guys, let's crack this open and actually put it on the boots. Now I've went ahead and cleaned these. These were pretty dirty. If you saw my, my boot collection 2021, you'll see these sitting there really dirty. And so I was able to clean these up. I actually did use the Red Wing cleaner on these. And now I'm gonna hit it with the conditioner. I always say, guys, I clean my boots about once every three to four conditionings. That way, uh, if there's a lot of grime on there or something like that, I'll do it more often. But it doesn't always need it. I'll leave that up for you guys to decide. You know, you start growing a relationship with your boots and you can really tell if it's just normal use. I don't think it needs it every time, uh, but at any rate, we're gonna put this on the boots. Of course, if you decide not to clean them, I would definitely, you know, go first and hit it with a horsehair brush. That's gonna get all that dirt off there for sure. But as far as applying this stuff, I really like, it's a good quality ingredient, so I just use my hands. You can use an old t-shirt, we do that a lot here on the Gentleman's Journey, or I have a fancy little cloth from Red Wing. Uh, I even say you can use an applicator brush. I'll put a link to some of this stuff in the description below. The good thing about this sometimes though, is you can get a little bit on there and you're able to get deep in that welt. And so that in the heel stack, <laughs> this is fake friends, uh, but the welt in the heel stack is often something that guys overlook and it doesn't get enough attention. Well, that's right down there where you're walking and getting into the biggest trouble with the water and stuff. So don't forget that spot. This again is a mall boot, it's all cheap. Uh, but the leather's good. So that's how we're gonna be able to see how this stuff works on these boots. So this is one of those things, kind of a mild level. I don't, I don't know, it's not something where I say, go light, but don't go thick. Guys, we're growing a relationship with our boots and you're gonna start really understanding 
what these things need, what products you want to run on them, and what makes you happy. I don't get too carried away here on the channel, guys. You'll see definitely a ton of opinions out there. But what we're doing is we're just going through a bunch of these conditioners and we're gonna start finding out more and more what works, what similarities. I know we're gonna run into a lot of similarities. Sometimes it's more on just a brand, what kind of brand you wanna run. Uh, I do say to, to newbies, if you will, if you're into the shoe care routine, you're just getting into it, there's nothing wrong with just running with the manufacturer's recommendations. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've seen a case where you stick with their options and you can go wrong. I just don't think that's possible. And so kind of a circular motion, just working this stuff in there, friends. Again, it feels really good. You could always wear gloves if you really wanted to, if you were in the middle of a work day and you didn't want this stuff all over your hands. Uh, again, a little dauber is gonna help you get down into that well. I don't think that's such a bad idea there. I'll finish this up here in a little bit, friends, but you can already tell kind of the difference. Of course, if you watch that My 2021 Boot Collection, you'll see that I ended up running these as my work boots, kind of in between when my Justins broke down and I was waiting for my Tacovas. So I ended up getting a big old oil stain on there. That's fine with me because I thought they would last maybe a day on the job site, but they're still kicking. So this stuff, it's darkening it right now, but it's gonna get lighter. It's gotten lightened up a little bit, just not enough to where I felt like I really wanted to run it on my Roughnecks or my Iron Ranger. Redwing actually recommends that you go ahead and do a second coat once this dries. So this could be, you know, a couple 24 hour process like I've talked about before, sometimes I don't make it to 24 hours, but if you have another set of boots to wear, it's a good idea just to wait that amount of time. Next up guys, I wanna do a water test. I'm gonna throw some water on there. If you gotta cut out early guys before class is dismissed, make sure and at least hit the like button on your way out. But I'd love to see how this stuff repels a little bit of water. So we're gonna try not to get it too saturated, but I'm gonna put some in the lid here. That way I just don't get it completely crazy. Wow, that is, it's just bouncing off. Okay, we're just going all in. So this boot already had that cleaner on it and I'm pretty happy just with how that boot actually got off. But you can see it's just sitting on top of that. And so they really credit that, of course, to the beeswax, but that mink oil is doing its job and there's just, it's absolutely not sinking in there at all. And there it is, friends. I really hope you picked up a few little things from this video. If you have, I'd love for you to hit the like button, maybe subscribe, come along for the journey. Guys, we're striving to be better gentlemen here in 2021. It's super tough these days with all kinds of things screaming at you, but it's the right route to go. So until the next video, friends, God bless you. And hey, don't forget to give those boots some love from time to time.